Okay, folks, so we're back, and I'm going to, uh, we're going to stay with this piece of video that we got with the faith on it. Let's say that uh, this is, that I want this, the color and the richness and everything of this piece of video to change over time. I'm going to fold a few things up. I'm going to fold the motion up so this is just not in the way, in the opacity. We already know we've got motion and opacity happening up here, so we don't need to see all the inner workings of that anymore. We've got that doing what we want it to do with that title, right? So let's make the color and brightness and contrast a little bit better because it's a little bit dark in there when I shot this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in brightness, B-R-I-G-H. We've sort of done this before, brightness and contrast. I'm going to put it on, put it on not faith, but I'm going to put it on the, the piece of video that's underneath this piece of video, okay? So then I'm also going to go over here I'm going to say uh, fast, fast color corrector because I like using some of the color control stuff in there. There's always also a three-way color corrector that's superb, but that's a little bit more advanced. We'll move on to that one later. So let's say what I'd like here is maybe I'd like this to come from dark into light. You know, we're sort of like bringing the faith that we're fading it in. Instead of fading in, though, this time I'm going to actually affect the brightness and contrast. So with this still highlighted, if you want to see, you click off of it, it's blue, click on it, and it's, and it's going to be white. Uh, I'm going to go up here first. I'm not going to mess with the fast color corrector just yet. I'm going to twirl it up. I want it to be kind of dark here at the very beginning. Uh, first of all, you look what I did. I, I'm going to twirl these down. I didn't, I didn't put a keyframe in, so I better do that, Atna. I'm going to put a brightness keyframe in here and a contrast keyframe in here. So I'm telling it right at the beginning, this time we're not going to affect opacity or anything or motion. We're going to affect brightness and color. We're actually affecting the color grading of a piece of video over time. So about a second into this, I want this to be much brighter. I want it to be up to here. Maybe. I'm 22% up. And I want my contrast to be a little deeper. I want a little richer. Okay. So I've got that set. Now I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move my frame forward. Let's look at the fast color corrector here. And maybe I want this thing to go from almost unsaturated to totally saturated. I'm going to click on saturation. And uh, at this point, I'm 100%. I, need to, I do need to go, you know what? I'd like this maybe at this point to be 120%. So this is, see how it's gotten richer reds and everything here? Maybe I don't want it to be quite so red. Then maybe I want to pull it back toward the blues just a little, just to negate a little bit of that red so this is not so crazy red. So I've got 120% uh, saturation. So let's pull this back to the beginning. Let's say I want to set my first saturation point at, I don't know, 30%, maybe you're something really low here, right? So it's almost like it's going from grayscale and coming to life, right? So now look what I've done. I've set these keyframes, and over time, it's going to change a little bit. Now let's say that right along in here, I want this to start looking, I don't know, maybe even a little more uh, intensely saturated. So I'm going to put another keyframe here. All I need, I'm telling it to stay saturated at that level to this point. And then moving forward here, to, I want this to go to right along in here, and it'd be really getting kind of almost, almost hyper uh, saturated. Why do I want this again? I don't know. Just because we can do it. It's pretty cool. So we're going all the way up here pretty far. I'm going up to like 180%. And uh, so that'll be, I'll be pretty cool. Until we'll also do, we'll go back up here where we got... Our contrast, I'm going to make the contrast, uh, first of all, I'm going, to leave, I'm going to go back here to this point. I'm going to put a blank contrast in. Then I'm going to move forward here where I'm changing my saturation. And I'm going to contrast this baby up a good bit. I'm actually maybe even going to darken it just a little bit at this point. I just want something really intense to happen there every time. So now look what I've got. I've not only changed, uh, you not only can change it with these texts and stuff. You can do these intense things with color. So, once again, you think about maybe you've got a superhero, and and if when he gets really mad, he sees red, right? You could be showing what he's seeing, and, and then you could super hyper intensify the uh, colors he's seeing or anything. So all this is affected by these keyframes. Now, folks, let's say you've been messing around with keyframes. Here's the last thing I'll say in this piece of video about keyframes. Let's say you just don't like anything you've done. Wow, Tony, this just really, this was bad. You know, this did not turn out the way I wanted it at all. Just click back on the keyframes and you toggle all that in. It say, do you want to delete all your animations? Say, yeah, I do. I want to delete all this. Okay. And all that does, it just resets you back to zero. 
So you don't have you now you got they say yeah I don't want to do any of that. Uh oh my saturation didn't change did it? Should have changed should have gone back to zero. No 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 no. Da, 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 da. Exist okay I see what happened here. What it does it leaves you at the same place you were originally. You can go back to 100 here. It leaves you at where you were before. Your contrast and your brightness. So back in you go back to zero and zero. Thought there might be a reset place, but there you go. Uh, is there a reset? Ah, reset parameter. Look at that. So if we'd had that there, we could click back and reset, and we'd go back to what it originally was. So you do have resets. My bad, folks. I don't seem to know everything. I, I kind of forget that I've got some of these things. So now we're back to what we originally were. So that's some how it's some work with keyframes, folks. What you can do, changing color. You can change almost anything over time. You can change the. You know, we'll talk about more of it later. I just want to jump ahead. I get so excited.